What's up YouTube? I just got out the shower and I'm feeling squeaky clean. I did like this really cute look yesterday and I guess a lot of you guys liked it also because got a lot of questions on like how I did it. So if you don't know what look I'm talking about, it's this one right here. Mm, yeah, she was cute. Sometimes it's like hard to believe that I can actually look like that when this is what I look like right now. <laughs> um, speaking of which, nobody fucking say not nothing about my skin right now. It's, I've literally, I literally don't know what's going on with my skin anymore. I need to like meditate because it's really stressing me out to be honest. Maybe that's like not helping either. I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna go do my brows off camera and I will be right back. We're gonna start with the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you up. So for the eyes, I mixed this blush from Makeup by Mario. Um, it's in the shade Desert Rose. I just like to put it all over my eyelid, just like this. But I like to mix this in with shade. It's literally called shade. Um, the Nova Beauty Smoky Palette. This one. Just to like add some more like brown. This gives like, I don't know, before I concealed my eyelids, I feel like this is like more like the natural color of my eyes that I just have, you know, brown girl problems. It should look something like this. I like to just like blend it all together and basically almost cover my whole eyelid. I don't really bring it all the way up, but I just like sweep it like back and forth, like in the crease and stuff like that. So it should look something like this. So now after that, I like to do, I like to go in with the darkest shade from the Nova Beauty Smoky Palette. And I like to use this, mm, I just put my palette face down on my pants, like what is wrong with me? What I was saying is that I like to use this angled, I was thinking of the word, the angled brush. And I like to just go from like the outer half and I like to just drag it along like the lash line and create like a tiny little wing. And I don't like to make it too long because I'm gonna smudge it out and that kind of just like drags it out on its own. So I'm gonna just be lining it like this. And you don't have to worry about it being perfect. Like obviously that's not perfect because since we're gonna smudge it out, it doesn't have to be precise. Thing like that. Then to actually smudge it out, I'm gonna take this Sonia Kasha. There's not even a number on it anymore. I've had it for so long, but it's like the Sonia Kasha smudge brush. And I'm gonna just run right on top of what I just put on. And I'm gonna just smudge it out and drag it to create like more of a wing. And I kind of went for like a smoky, smudgy, imperfect look. So you really don't have to be like stressed out over this. I don't know, since we're using blacks and uh, like darker colors today, I think it's better to wait for the rest of your face because if you can't see already, but there's a little bit of fallout, that's literally why I don't do my face makeup first. It just makes it so much easier to clean up after. But yeah, so she's not perfect, but it'll come together. Just wait, just wait. All right, so I just did the other side. Also not perfect, probably not the same either, to be honest. So now I'm gonna take this Nova Beauty uh, gel eyeliner in ASAP. Um, it's just like a matte black, so any matte black gel eyeliner will work because this isn't very like dark. Yes, we used black, but like it's not black, you know what I'm saying? Like I want it to be very dark. So I'm gonna basically just go over and run it like really close to the lash line. I'm not gonna drag it too far because when we use a smudge brush again, it'll like, it'll add. See how much darker that made things? That's what I'm talking about. If you wanna make it a little darker, you can always go back in with your angled brush and just like put some more black on top of the gel liner. I feel like that'll really lock shit down. Like it'll lock everything in place. Um, it's really just like personal preference to be honest. I feel like I say to be honest a lot. Like to be honest, I feel like I say to be honest a lot. That's how I feel. Now we're gonna go in with this glittery sparkly shade. It's called Fantasy. And I'm gonna take this Nova Beauty eye number four brush and I'm gonna just go run it on the lash line but only on the inner corner to the halfway point where we started the black and you can kind of like blend it into the black if you want all right yeah so that's basically like the eyelid part like that's really it for the rest of the makeup i like to wait till after my face is done but since we already used like all the eyeshadow and everything like 
we can go ahead with the face. So for the face, I'm gonna be using the Kosas foundation. I wanted to use like kind of a natural foundation and the Kosas is my favorite for natural foundations because look how beautiful this blends into the skin and it's skincare at the same time. So it's basically perfect. And it has sunscreen. <gasps> oh my God, I wasn't recording, what? Um, I just realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> Love that. So I'm gonna just go and do my contour real quick. I just use this anti contour stick in Amber Suede. Nothing's really changed. Okay, so I just did the contour for contour. It's the same that I've been using in like literally every single video on this channel. Um, it's the House Labs Medium Level A Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. I did my nose contour. I did my bronzer on my cheeks and everything so now i'm gonna do blush and for blush i'm gonna be mixing this mac totally synced glow play blush i'm gonna just swirl that so i'm just blending it out and i'm blending it onto my nose contour if you see my nose contour video you know that this is part of it then for blush i'm gonna go in with this dior blush and i'm gonna just pat that onto my cheeks honestly i'm gonna take it all over I remember doing that yesterday. It was honestly like the first time I did that with this blush combo that I'm doing right now. So for concealer, I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Pro Conceal in 150. And I'm gonna just blend that. Since we did our eye makeup pretty messy, I like to clean it up with the concealer on this part and kind of clean it up. Not too much though, because you still want like a messy look. Just any like fallout or anything that's like not where it needs to be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set everything into place using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I don't know if it, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it actually is a new powder puff. I've just been using it for like three or four days now. I told you in my last video that I would have a new one, and I finally found where all my new, or where all my clean hair puffs and sponges are. Yeah, basically I'm gonna set my whole base. And by the way, in case you haven't seen any of my other videos, this is the translucent powder I used. It's the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's talc for you though. So for highlight, I'm gonna be using this cookie highlight from Benefit. Like, look how blinding, like, oh my god. And then I'm gonna put that on my nose. Um, for the eyes, I'm gonna be putting this on my eyebrow, but I'm also gonna put it on my inner corner also. I like to do this because when I do my inner wing with the eyeliner, it has a little bit of like lightness also on the inner corner, so it doesn't like make it too dark. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And by the way, for eyeliner, I'm using this MAC Brush Black Brush Stroke 24 Hour Eyeliner. I love it. It lasts all day. And if you ever mess up on like your inner wing, you can just take your like, little concealer brush like this. This is what I use to carve out my eyebrows and you can just clean it up. So now I'm gonna take this and go on my waterline. And I like to make sure that the waterline connects to the wing. So now basically that's it for this part. So now I'm gonna just go in with the lashes. For eyelashes, I'm gonna be using these Lily lashes. They're the same ones I used yesterday for the actual look. They're in the style Ritzy. I don't have the packaging anymore. I already threw it away, but they're super cute. They're like this little like cat eye. And I'm gonna just put these on and I'm gonna add some moles onto my face using this. It's called Freck. XL, the original freckle. I'm gonna just use that, put moles on my face, finish with the lashes, do some mascara on my lips. Oh, wait, no, I'll come back for the lips though. Okay, so I just finished putting on my lashes. This is what they look like. Super cat eye, fluffy, wispy amazingness. I fucking love it. So for lips, the liner is gonna be the same as usual. It's just the MAC lip liner in stone. For the actual lip gloss, I'm gonna be using this Nova Beauty lip gloss in the color Moody. It's like this sparkly, like plum color. It's not too dark either once you put it on. 
color is really cute and I feel like Nova Beauty came out with a lot of really pretty lip colors. They did send me this but I'd say the only thing that I would change about this is the applicator. I feel like it's too small. Like I end up having to dip in like a thousand times just to get like this much gloss on. So I actually changed my mind. I did want to show you guys how I do my little moles and shit. I'm gonna take this freckle whatever. Basically like I told you my skin's been doing some psycho shit so i just put the moles everywhere where i have like a really big bump or something you know and i want to kind of like conceal it and disguise it i always do that every time i have like really bad breakouts or if i have like one particular breakout that's like it's like super obvious i like to just disguise it and pretend it's a mole and at the same time like that one was a real mole i like to put it on the real ones also i got some on my cheeks and they're real i mean you can put them like anywhere like this is up to you for setting spray yesterday i mixed two of them i did the morphe setting spray like always but i also mixed it with the max the max the mac fix plus magic radiance um it has vitamin c and it's supposed to be hydrating all day long so this one's like pretty aggressive when it like sprays so i like to cover my eyes because i feel like it's gonna ruin it and i like to hold it pretty far away because like i said it's she's aggressive this one's just like a softer mist like the other one just comes like shooting out and i swear one of these days i'm gonna actually get a fan for real but anyways i'll be back with the final look and everything all right, so I just did my hair. We're back. Uh, this is the final look that I had yesterday. If it looks a little different, it's because it's a new day. Um, and I did it with my natural. Like the top, I did it with my natural curls. So I think that's why they're like a little more poofy and like actually staying on top of my head. The other ones were like the fake curls. So they probably match a little better with like these little fake curls that I just made on the sides. But yeah, basically overall, this is the look. And this is the same makeup that I used yesterday. Let me zoom you up for the last time. It. yeah i don't know i think it's cute i'm here for it this is the final look i hope you guys enjoy it um let me know if you recreate this look and don't forget to tag me that was pretty much it hope you have a good day